Do you think the Young Nats could be a potential dating agency for other New Zealand people wanting to find their life partner? Look, I think if you're looking for someone with um, similar life views as you, they share political views and you've probably got um, pretty similar ambitions, you Young Nats could be a good place to start. I love it. I love it. We're turning the Young Nats into a dating, dating, dating yeah. agency. Brilliant. Brilliant idea. I love it. Very good. <laughs> I think by signing up as a member, you're kind of sending that clear message to the government that you want change, you're ready for change, and that you're going to be a part of it. Easy. Cool. Thank you so much for joining. Kia ora, ko pronga te māngoa, ko waka to te awa, ko tainui te iwi, ko tainui te waka, ko kaho te te marae, ko whatuhua te whare, ko Dallas ke te takuengoa. It's great to be back here with the Northern Young Nats. It's been a little while since we've had clubs day in such capacity. So really, really cool to be back here with the team. You guys should have used your phones to do it. You can't rely on me all the time. Or you should have messaged me or called me. How many people did you lose? I mean, I've told them to just walk around and come back. And come back we, we wrote the details. We wrote the details. We've got like... That's five people you may not get back by now. So my role today is really varied. Um, one minute I'm down at the store, helping up with that, making sure everything is going smoothly there. Next minute I can be off with our leader, Chris Phillipson, and any other MPs, just making sure that they have got you know a good feel of what's going on around them, introducing them to some clubs that I know, and also making some new friends on campus. What was that, sorry? Where do you want to take them afterwards? Uh, so we're going to go to the Young Matt store. Sure. Yep. Did you add those people on Facebook? We're going to, yeah. So you've, but you've not done it yet? Huh? Not yet. Okay. Hey, how are you? How are you going? Good to see you. How's things? Yeah, pretty good. We've got Boss Man here as well. Where is he? Uh, just around the corner, he'll be making his way around soon. Oh, very good. Do you feel like lip love fluxing today? Where's Young Labour? Are they here? Yeah, we're around the corner. Oh, right. Just in this with them. Sorry? Just in this with them. Oh, seriously? Yeah. yeah. Expect, expect. Yeah. Good. You know, good. Not these. What do I do? Just go on the Young Nets Facebook? No, I, 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 need a, I need to send you the link because it's a special portal. Do you have to stop it on the credit card? Yeah. Right. So stop it on my link. Or whatever. No, because you won't. I would. Oh, it's all over my dress. <laughs> That's disgusting. I need water or something. My dress has got marks on it. I've got meetings all afternoon for work. I need to go and find Lutzen to tell him that I am leaving. New rule, no drinks up here. No. There he is. There he is. Oh, they're filming me for a politics thing. Oh, really? Do I have to have an issue on politics? Right. No, you're yeah. fine. Really? You're fine. I'm getting ready for the wedding now. Oh, yeah. So, where are you actually getting married? Kahotea. Oh, you really? Yeah, yeah. Going home. Home, home. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's in for yet. No. <laughs> no. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> in more ways than one. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's the beauty of our family, eh? It's very colourful. Mm. Catch up with you guys later. Yeah, right? catch up with you guys later. later. See ya. Bye. Take care. James and I both got involved at the Young Nets in separate times. Didn't really know each other that well, and then Campaign 2020 came along, and someone once said that um, you can kind of almost compare it to those who have been through a shared trauma, like. You, you tend to bond with those people and our friendship grew, we spent more time together and then when I ran for Northern Young Match Chair, you know, I needed those people around me who were going to support me and James Wark Hesitation was pretty much one of the first people to be like, I'll support you, anything you need, I'll be here for you. I think through all that trial and tribulation we've gone through, you know, the whole campaign 2020, that was a mad time, one good thing to come out of that was uh, just Dallas and uh, and I mean ever since uh, 
meeting her, we've just been so much better, just so much more closer. And even the, to be honest, even the party's fortunes have been uh, better through two successful by-elections and then hopefully maybe a successful election this time. So this office here is to be the office of Lindsay Tish. And where the lovely foot poster is, is where they used to have this giant parliamentary crest. And many, many a good times was kind of spent lurking outside of this office when I kind of became a bit of a political nerd, waiting to see if any important politicians would come <laughs> out. I think that was kind of the beginning of all things political for me. Before that, we'd been at Robert Harris just down the road um, when I was about seven or eight. We'd had morning tea with Lindsay. But I was like, gosh, I quite like this whole politics thing. And then Nana looks at me and she goes, well, you realise I was very involved in politics. I was like, no, you weren't. How, how are you involved? <laughs> if it hadn't have been for that conversation with Nana, I don't know if I would have entered politics. So I owe a lot to what happened in this office and also what happened in Robert Harris. It's such a lovely view along here. Yeah, it's beautiful. You basically pay Paranel prices, though. Oh, really? Yeah. This is like the, the Paranel manga there. <laughs> <laughs> All the women here, man. I like that. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How are you today? Nice to meet you. My name's Dallas, and I'm here with our candidate for Mangere, Rosemary. Oh, yes. Hello. Dear. Nice to meet you. What are your issues that you feel about? Around here. Or in general, in New Zealand? I think it's the hooligans. Crime. Totally support the boot camps and stuff like that for these young people. Increasing yeah. crime rate, I guess. Yep. There yeah. we go, everybody's saying that, right? Yes. What's well, the famous mentality? Show me your young people today, I'll show you your economy, your society, 20 years down the track. Yeah. That's not a short term investment. No, no, a it's exactly. Term if you're going to create a boot camp and say in and out, it's not going to work. But I think done intelligent on the military style, yeah. where it's holistic. So we're off to Putaruru and that is where I spent the first few years of my life and then also where um, my mum's family have always been based. My nana is my best friend and something that's inspired me hugely was her involvement in the New Zealand National Party. If I'm half a woman, my nana is. When I'm older, then I would have done something right in life. Nana. Hello, you're being very formal. <laughs> oh, how are you, Nana? <laughs> 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 uh, so this is my memory box, and it's kind of got everything from my first Buzzy Bee toy in it through to National Party shop. membership cards, um, the fairy off my fifth birthday cake. <laughs> um, but one of my proudest points is actually my letter to John Key, which... You probably were as proud, if not prouder, than I was when we got this um, handwritten response from the Right Honourable JK. Do you remember it? Oh, yes, yes. I, I read it just a little while ago. You expressed your disappointment that uh, Lindsay Tish, the Matamata MP, had been demoted to junior whip. Dear Dallas, thank you for your letter. You are quite correct. Lindsay has done a great job for both the National Party and the people of the Waikato. I won't go into great detail, except to say our party try and share jobs around to give everyone a fair chance. Best wishes, John Key. Yeah. Did you, uh, were you with Grandad and I when we helped on election day? I was. I played on the Pitaruru primary school playground as you and Grandad both took shifts doing scrutineering. And I believe I did the same in 2014. But I was always there for the dinner slash election night party at your house. <laughs> National was never forced upon me. No. I knew your involvement. Yeah. I knew that you and Grandad were staunch supporters. I remember Mum once telling me, after we'd had um, a Labour door knocker, door knock for us, and you wouldn't believe it, it was actually 
for the now right honourable Jacinda Ardern when she ran against Lindsay Tish. Oh, yes. I can still remember saying to Mum, I like this woman, because they gave us a pamphlet yeah. of Helen Clark, because oh. she's a woman. Oh. And I like the colour red. Oh. And Mum looking at me and going, do not say that in front of your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> what would your reaction have been? If I had have decided that I did really like that red team, because mm. especially because I had a female at the front, mm. and I decided to support the red team or Labour. Well, I would have been disappointed, and I could imagine we would have had some quite strenuous debate, <laughs> not not angry debate. I I would have respected your decision and some of your opinions, but. Um, Oh, I, I think we would have had many, many strenuous discussions, <laughs> to put it mildly. <laughs> if you decide to go further, you'll always have my full support. Probably not if you'd gone red. <laughs> <laughs>